So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again to talk about Chelsea, my favourite team. Yay! <laughs> Some of you people need to get out more, honestly. Yeah, I genuinely do not understand why you spend your whole life sat on the internet. Uh, so some of you, please leave your house. Uh, I am an Arsenal fan, despite talking about other clubs. They're always twerking for rivals. Uh, well, thanks for watching. You're getting me paid for twerking for rivals. Uh, do the maths. Engage your brains if you have one. And uh, leave your house. Get fresh air. Touch wood. Touch grass. Touch whatever you know. Let's move. Pause. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Listen, smash the like button up. We are talking about Chelsea. We're going to talk about uh, Lukaku. Lakaka. Uh, is he the worst player ever in the Premier League era um, in terms of the Chelsea transfer? Because it's been mad, isn't it? Uh, but listen, smash the like button. Uh, do subscribe. Uh, cry in the comments. Genuinely don't care. As soon as I finish this, I'll be recording my video on the second channel. And I'll be sitting around the pool for the rest of the day. Uh, so I don't care. Cry all you like. Get your super chats in. You can cry and pay me to cry. I'm in one of their moods today, people. Uh, but listen, it is what it is. Sub to the channel. Check out my Rumble account. Uh, type in Lee Gunner on rumble.com. You will find me. Next to it, follow that one. But next to it, it says Arsenal fan content. That's the one you need to follow. But type in, it's confusing. Don't ask. I don't get it. But follow me on Rumble. Uh, I will be in the near future uh, talking all things real world rather than football world, uh, so we can fully profit off of saying COVID is X, Y, Z. So, yeah, come and join that. That would piss off some more people, wouldn't it? But it is what it is. Um, anyway, we digress. Um, 30 million. Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku. Um, let's actually have a little look at Lukaku's stats. <laughs> let's have a little look at this. So, Lukaku's stats, if I can get it. If I can get it up. Yeah, pause again, Lee. Pause again. Right, here we go. Right. So, Lekaka. Smash the like button, people. Let's go. Let's go Chelsea. There it is. Chelsea. 59 games for Chelsea, of which I believe, I believe nine of them were in the first stint at Chelsea. So let's say 50 games, 15 goals, three assists. He actually scored more goals in less games at West Brom. Yeah, that's kind of mad. 42 in 96 at United, 41 in 98 at Anderlecht, 78 in 132 at Inter, 87 in 166 at Everton. 29 assists on that as well. Wow. Okay. So, his best output is Everton. <laughs> closely followed by closely followed by Inter, where he's got 78 and 23 assists. 78 goals, 23 assists. So, 100 million for 15 goals. Loaned out, loaned out, loaned out, loaned out. Um, refused to go to training, wanted to get out of the club. Um Inter fans didn't want him back. Obviously, he's gone back there. He started scoring again. All is forgotten. Yeah, but he, he knows the rules. Um, he doesn't want to come back to Chelsea. He doesn't want to play in the Premier League. He wants to go back to Inter. He's openly admitted he wants to go back to Inter. 30 million. So, take into account you paid 100 for him. You're getting 30 back. 70 million for 15 goals. That's kind of mad. Yeah, but Lee, we get the loan fee as well. We get the loan fee. Okay, well, even so, is he the worst Premier League player in terms of the value of the player? He was touching 100 million. The fact that he hardly scored any goals, two of them 15, by the way, were against my club. Yeah, good one. I remember that day, sitting there eating popcorn. Yeah, mad. But genuinely, pound for pound, is he the worst Premier League player? in terms of money, in terms of output, in terms of, I wouldn't say so much hype, because he's never had hype. But if you actually look at his outputs at every other club, they're actually really good. Just Chelsea. Ironically, it isn't. 
And that's the only club, ironically, that he has had a bad output. Because 59 games in total, 15 goals, that ain't good enough. Especially when you look at what he did at Everton, what he did at Man United, what he did at Anderlecht, what he's done at Inter, West Brom, you know, handful of games at West Brom, more goals. You know, it was a one in two record. I think he scored a hat trick. Did he score a hat trick against Man United on the last day of the season once when Fergie was still there? It's kind of mad. And it's crazy how his career has gone as well, because this guy has been transferred, yeah, for big dough multiple times. I think if you go to the top transfers, top 10 transfers in the Premier League era, he's on it twice. Like, that is insane. How good or bad is he? Do you actually rate Lukaku? I know there's the the joke that, oh, he's first touched this and his first touched that, and he wears Timberland boots and all of that rubbish, yeah? That's cool. But genuinely, is he the worst Premier League player of all time? Now, the amount of money clubs have invested in this guy and spent on this guy. Man United did 75. Chelsea had done 100. It's a lot of dough, people. Is there another player that you could sit there and go, actually... For the amount of money he's been transferred around in the Premier League, he's worse. They only got rad in the wages. I don't know how much he's getting paid at Chelsea, but it's guaranteed over 200 grand a week. You don't come in as a 100 million pound footballer unless you're in at least 200 grand a week. So I got rad in all the wages, plus the wages at Man United, plus the wages at Everton, plus the wages at West Brom. How much money has this guy genuinely cost football clubs in his Premier League career? It's got to be touching 300 mil. Like if you think, right, this guy, let's say this guy's on 200 grand a week for five years. Yeah, 200 grand a week, that's 50 million. That's 50 mil. Now times that by two, 10 years, that's now 100 mil. <laughs> it's got to be touching 250, 300 million. This guy has cost Premier League football clubs. And nobody seems to mention it. I, I dig out Mesut Ozil. That sounds wrong as well. I, I call out Mesut Ozil and say he is one of the worst Premier League signings ever, based on the hype, based on the money, based on the you know, the years he was at the football club. That guy, and what he didn't achieve, yeah, that guy cost Arsenal Football Club 153 million quid, Mesut Ozil, with the signing fee, the wages for eight years, the image rights, the, um, the agent fee, 153 million. But this guy, we're talking quarter of a billion quid with wages. This is insane levels, people. Is there anyone else in this in the league that has actually cost that much money? I don't think there is. So on that basis, when you haven't done the output consistently, listen, he's got a good output in terms of one in two at United, one in two at West Brom, one in two at Everton. But ultimately, it doesn't lead to anything. It doesn't get you anywhere. What? How many trophies has he won in the in the league? Is he is he ever since he's been in the Premier League era? Has he ever won any trophies? In fact, I need to see that. Maybe he did win. Did he win at Man United? I don't even think he did. I don't even think he did. At least those have won a couple of trophies. Do you know what I mean? All right, let's have a look. All right. So he has, he has an FA Cup from 2012. I guarantee he didn't even play. I guarantee he was just sat on the bench. 2012. Drogba was still there, right? No, 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 no. I've got to go. I've got no, no, no. I've got to go and see how many games he played for Chelsea in 2012. That makes no sense. That makes no sense, my friends. Right here we go. It's loading. I stand corrected. He played eight games in the Premier League. He played one in the FA Cup. Fair play. You get your winners' medal. Good for you. Wow, I never knew. See, I've learned something new today. So he's won one FA Cup. What else has he won? Let's see what else we've got here. I think that's all he's won in domestic football, English football. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He's won an Italian Super Cup, Belgian champion, Italian Cup, Italian champion, FIFA Club World Cup winner with Chelsea. Player of the Year at Inter. Four times top goal scorer. All right. Footballer of the Year in Italy. So that's wow. That's mad. For somebody who's cost that much money just for Premier League teams without anyone else, this guy is not really decorated, is he? 
He's got one league title, two league titles, a couple of cups, and that's it. That's Pete. For me, he's the worst. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, leave it in the comment section down below. Name another player that has been transferred into the Premier League and around the Premier League that is worse than him, if there is one that has cost more than him. I don't think there is one. Listen, outside of the Premier League, including Premier League moves and you go global with it, Alvaro Morata's up there. Yeah, Alvaro Morata, how that guy keeps getting 50, 60 million pound moves. That needs, somebody needs to look at that. Alvaro Morata getting moved here for 50 mil and then a couple of years later, oh, I'm not happy now, I'll go there for 70 mil. Then I'll come here for 60 mil. Yeah, there, there's something going on there. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, Lukaku, I don't think there's another footballer in the Premier League that has cost a quarter of a billion quid. Uh, in terms of wages and transfer fees since the lifetime of the Premier League began. I don't think it's happened. So, yeah, on that basis, he is the worst ever player. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that. Sounds a little bit different. Uh, the transfer stories are dead um, at the moment. So, yeah, we'll just talk about how shit Lukaku is. And, um, and now everyone's going to cry and I'm talking about Chelsea again. Eh. <laughs> Listen, make sure you sub to the channel. We're very close to 18K. appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, make sure you are sticking a thumbs up on the video. Make sure you are sharing the content around. Leave your comments and super chats down below. Also follow me on the main channel, Lee Gunner, and on Rumble. Type in Lee Gunner on rumble.com. Follow the Lee Gunner icon that's there. But next to that should come up Arsenal fan content. It's not got a picture. That is my actual channel. <laughs> Don't ask me how it works. I have no idea. You know, I thought the Lee Gunner bit was my channel, but it's not. I spoke to the guy at Rumble yesterday, had a good conversation with uh, with him for half an hour. And um, yeah, man, we're going to be doing some bits on this soon. So go and get following. It is free to follow. Uh, we're out of it.